hey guys it's jasmine and i am back with a nursing school vlog so i decided that what i'm gonna do is do like class wrap-ups every time i finish a class i'll come on here give you guys an update what i thought about the class my experience with the class and maybe that can help everyone out as far as independent classes versus um like my year in a summary so basically what i did for the first year was i didn't talk about really nursing school in none of my videos until i did my nursing school um experience my first year and a lot of you guys really responded well to that video so i figured maybe if i would break it up into classes that would be a little bit more helpful as well instead of trying to jam pack a whole year into one video so if you guys like this idea make sure that you thumbs up and let me know below so that i'll continue to do class wrap ups and if not if this is not something that you're interested in let me know that as well and i'll just wait until the end of the year and do my second year wrap up and um we can just kind of go off of what you guys would like to see on my channel so enough of my blabbing the class that i just finished um was ob which is maternal child services or like OBGYN, um, taking care of an infant, postpartum moms, moms who are giving birth, um, moms with babies and complications, like anything that is related to OB. So before we went into OB, I was not too excited about it. I wasn't particularly like, I don't want to do OB. I was just like, okay, I'll do OB. You know, I've had two kids. Um, I have a family who got a lot of kids. And so I wasn't worried about doing the class I was just like I don't know how is it going to be like looking at ladies vaginas all day like I was like I just don't know if I can do that um but my experience was absolutely amazing so I'm going to tell you first about the classwork then I'll talk to you about clinicals and then I'll give a little summary of you know my thoughts of the whole thing as far as classwork OB is very different from med surge so um it kind of started off a little rocky for me i um did not do particularly well on my first two tests i mean i got a b on the first one but i like failed the second one um i think i got a d on it which is horrible um but the thing is in ob you have to read because well in my ob it's like you have to read the material because not all the information that are in your notes will particularly help you on the test so um one thing that i had to realize that was since ob is completely different from med surge you don't the template that i was using for med surge didn't help me in any way shape or form in ob what i had to do was print out all my notes and then i looked at each topic that is on my notes but then I had to read the entire chapter and like write in what I thought was important as far as um, any complications, any lab values. Cardio was a really big thing, um, like the cardiovascular system in premature babies, as well as um, like what happens to the cardio system and um, the lungs once the baby is born. So I really had to read and kind of understand before i went to class so that way when the teacher is talking and she's lecturing i was able to follow along with her and anything that i might have been confused about i could listen to her say it for the second time and then kind of grasp the concept so it is definitely a different mentality of studying versus what i did with med surge so like it's basically the opposite i started out doing um, note cards and notes and like writing on my um, notes in med search that didn't work so I had to go to the template which is broken down into systems complications nursing interventions and that's how I study for med search coming into OB is completely different I did everything from note cards and notes so it's kind of like you got to figure out which way of studying works best for you um, I found that the easiest things for me to learn were like the diseases and I think that's just because I did really well in med surge so or in complex and commons med surge and so like learning about the diseases learning what to look for learning what signs and symptoms to look for um, 
differentiating two diseases that are kind of similar but two totally different things happens to the baby or the mom as a result of these diseases um that was a little bit easier to grasp than um like some of like just the basic stuff i would say ob is a lot of definitions like the uh bolded print that is in the book i made sure to write no cards for every vocabulary word in each chapter that i study um i also use the evolve website to do like practice questions and NCLEX style questions just so if i see a question and i pick a certain answer it will give you the rationale of why it was right or why it was wrong and if it is wrong the reason why it's wrong and then it explains to you the correct answer so towards the end i started acing all of my tests um and it was just more of me trying to get the feel of which way was the best way for me to study however i do know some people that took ob that was in my class who did not read a chapter out of the book they just studied ATI, the ATI book that we get, and um, they freaking did awesome in the class. So I think it all just depends on your learning style. Um, as far as ATI, this semester we did it a little different. We did, we usually do all of our tests, and then the last day of class we take our ATI, and then we do course evaluation. For this semester, we did ATI a week before the final, so everything that was on or some of the stuff that was on the final was actually testable on ATI so you had no choice but to read ahead and crazy as it sounds a lot of the stuff that was for the final test that we were supposed to get lectured on the following week was on the ATI so luckily I had some people who've already taken OB tell me that you need to make sure you study ahead and read ahead and know your stuff from those chapters because a lot of it was on to ATI. I did get a level two on ATI. Um, I was 5% away from getting a level three, which kind of sucks. I had the option of retaking it, but I chose to just take my level two and be a-okay with it because if you retake ATI and say you do worse the second time, you have to go with that second score. And with my luck, it definitely would have just went all wrong. <laughs> as far as clinicals, we had um, quite a few rotations. So we did um, labor and delivery, which I did labor and delivery twice. Um, it just depends on the cycle and what your name is. So um, I did labor and delivery twice. I did the NICU. I did postpartum slash couplet. I did the nursery and then I did and I think that's it I think those are all the all the rotations that we did so um I started off with postpartum couplet I really enjoyed that a lot of people didn't like it I don't know why I felt like it was the same as med surge except you're just dealing with a mom and a baby and you're still doing your assessment you're still doing hourly rounds um it's a lot less stressful because you might just have two moms and two babies which is considered four patients but when you're taking care of them together it just seems like a lot less workload um it is not a lot to do unless you have a situation that goes really bad such as like hemorrhaging or um like magnesium toxicity or like something crazy which can happen but majority of the time you're just like massaging the fundus and making sure that you know um she's not bleeding out and that she's healing properly that she's not developing any kind of difficulties so a lot of people didn't like it I guess a lot of people didn't like it because it can be kind of slow and everything is repetitive so you do the same thing to each patient you do assessments you make sure that she has peri care and you make sure that she's not bleeding out so you know you make sure that the baby is okay you might do some um lactation consultant even though there is a lact an actual lactation consultant before that person comes in because there's only one lady to to the floor or uh, which in the hospital that i had i was in um so i was helping moms learn how to breastfeed for the first time or moms who've already breastfed i was actually helping them to get the baby to latch on 
so um you do have to you know do those kind of things and i really liked it maybe because i just had a good nurse that i was following and she explained everything to me and um i don't know i didn't have a problem with it at all so then i went to um labor and delivery which i freaking loved oh my gosh it was so interesting so fast paced and just a lot going on and i really enjoyed it it was very different from med surge which i don't know if that's why i was like really into it because it was something different to do um but up in pitocin you know checking dilation and effacement um actually watching and helping a mom deliver her baby was like so amazing every time i went my mom was um i think gravita three i had one gravita one and um it was just amazing so these ladies was like coming in and they were like pushing these babies out in four hours so it was like epidural to her epidural to her uh check her she's dilated let's get her ready to push this baby and as soon as we're finished in there we're like back in the other room because she's about to deliver and then the second time that i went to labor and delivery i actually got to see a c-section it was a planned c-section the mom was super calm and the baby was so pretty and the whole surgery and process was just it was so amazing to see because i've never seen an actual c-section i mean i've seen them on tv and um stuff like that but i've never been in the room when a mom gave birth via c-section and it was it was nice it was a very cool experience to see so um i really enjoyed labor and delivery then i went to the nursery nursery wasn't quite as interesting um it was a lot of you know feeding the babies uh putting pacifiers in the mouth making sure that they're clean or giving them their first bath making sure that they um their thermal regulation is um according to plan that they're not overheating underheating making sure there's no fluid loss um and stuff like that it wasn't really that interesting it was not a lot of babies in our nursery at that time um so i don't know it wasn't bad but it wasn't the best experience that i ever had then the last place that i went to was the nicu and i was so deathly afraid to go to nicu and it is just because i feel like those babies are in such a vulnerable state like i didn't want to make their situation worse even though i know as a nurse you're there to help them and help them get better and make sure that the moms are comfortable and stuff like that but i just felt like they were so small and so fragile i didn't want to do anything wrong um nicu nurses are specially trained nurses you can as a nurse you can apply for a nicu job but there is extra training that you have to do to be able to be prepared to take care of a um a nicu baby the neonatal intensive care unit so it is the babies who are like small for gestational age or who were born very prematurely or who were born post due date because those babies can actually have a lot of complications as well um and babies who have like diseases and all kind of complications so i was just very uncomfortable because i didn't want to hurt them or i didn't want to do something wrong that can potentially make their situation worse and i know you have to be very careful with an infant regardless of their situation but i just feel like they're more fragile I just don't think nicu is particularly the area that i would want to be in so as far as my whole ob experience i would definitely have to say i would love to be a labor and delivery nurse throughout this whole process of being in nursing school i never knew what kind of nurse i wanted to be i just knew that there were a lot of options but i wasn't really sure exactly which route i wanted to take and i definitely would have to say that labor and delivery is where i feel that i should be i just loved it even though it can go from really high intensity to very slow and monotonous um it is very exciting when it's exciting and it's i just loved it i really loved being in labor and delivery and i really feel like that's where i want to be when i graduate um it is very hard to get into labor and delivery as a new grad 
they would like you to have some kind of experience so if i was to have to do like a year of med surge prior to being a labor and delivery nurse i definitely would do that but i would really just love to go into labor and delivery and as a new grad who is just open to learn so many things about labor and delivery that i wasn't able to learn just by doing clinicals and to have a career as a labor and delivery nurse like that would be amazing so that wraps up my ob experience and i hope it helped you guys in some kind of way um, or give you just a little bit of insight of what to look forward to keep in mind that every school is different every course is different my experience may be completely different from your experience i know my experience was different than some of my classmates experience who you know did particularly like ob especially the males but um just take it for what it is be open-minded go in with an open mind and just take in as much information as you can even if it's not something that you're interested in so as you can see i'm still in scrubs today was actually my first day of pediatrics and i am very overwhelmed right now i actually am taking pediatrics as well as college algebra and i have homework that i should actually be doing right now so i'm gonna go and until the next nursing vlog i'll talk to you guys later bye